morning. Right, as you can see, it's a glorious day today. Okay, so it's now Friday, the 18th of March. Um, we got here yesterday. We're currently at Riddings Wood near Alfreton in Derbyshire, in the Peak District. Got here yesterday, having driven from Keswick. That was about 180 miles. Took about four hours. Um, quite plain sailing. It's easy, easy going. It's quite an easy route up there actually to Keswick, because coming from Keswick back to here, it's A66 across country, then the A1, M18, and then M1. So yeah, quite a straightforward route. And of course, M1 also takes us home. So we're only about half an hour from home now. So we thought we'd spend a couple of well, three, four, four nights here. So yeah, <clears throat> lovely little place. Um, as you can see, thank God the winds, uh, the sun's popped its head out, which is great. Oh, thank God for that, much appreciated. Um, didn't really realize, because I don't think we've got an awful lot of sleep at Keswick, because A, the rain, um, although that tends to wake me up and get back to sleep during it, but also also because we were next to the lake, it was the, uh, the swans, were often coming into land. I don't know what time it is. Quite early, must have been five or six o'clock. They're coming into land over the lake, and of course they can't do it quietly. Um, so the old swan. No, it was more the geese. I think they go. Rawr, 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 as they're coming into land uh, quite early in the morning. So I think that that woke us up. I didn't really realise at the time, but the neighbour, sort of um, the lady we were uh, next to, said, "Oh, we kept her awake." Anyway. It was lovely Keswick to be honest, I'd love to go back there again. Um, little tip though, if you want to go to Keswick camping and caravanning site, um, the super pitches, I suppose it stands to reason anyway, the super pitches are the ones actually overlooking, with the best views actually overlooking the, um, the lake, Derwent Water. So yeah, ours, we were just lucky to get ours on the edge, but ours wasn't a super pitch, it was a bog standard one. I think it was about £25 with electric hookup, um, so that wasn't too bad. This site, Riddings Wood, um, lovely view actually. I'm looking over Ironville, little village Ironville, down in the valley over there. Um, I'll show you in a minute. And we're near Alfreton, just next to Summercoats, um, or ne just on the edge of a tiny, tiny little place called Riddings. Um, and I went, to, checked, obviously I checked, there's two lovely little pubs in there. Checked out one of them last night, very, very friendly. Uh, got a band playing there tomorrow night, Saturday, so I think we might have to go and check them out. So yeah, I've already checked that pub out, lovely, lovely. Um, so yeah, lovely. Also last night, what did we do? Oh yeah, we watched a bit of John and Mandy. Oh, crikey, interesting, interesting times for them. If you haven't caught up with them, John and Mandy, John and Mandy on tour. They're back now after their epic tour around, well, it seems like around half the blinking world, mostly Europe and stuff. And uh, yeah, it looks like changes are afoot for them. So that was quite interesting watching them. Oh yeah, and we were all also, we also joined in the old Snapchat thing, live stream thing from Tanks on Tour. I had a little chat with them, which was, that was quite nice. Normally, I think it was Snapchat. I normally don't do Snapchat, so, um, yeah, but well that was that was fun. So yeah, had a good evening. Caught up in some sleep last night. Ah, oh, lovely. So here we're it's about twenty five pounds a night at Reading's Wood. We're um, fully serviced, so we're connected up to the water, the grey waste permanently connected up to that, and electric. So we just got to empty the toilet once a day. Not even that, to be honest. Once every other day, because we use our caravan toilets. Toilet block sites there it's just a tiny I must admit it feels like a little hidden gem actually uh, this does because we've got the woods around there so we can take the dog for a walk in the woods got a reservoir down there so that'll be what 10 minute walk to the reservoir 10 minute walk to the pubs um, there's an Aldi up there as well we just need to get a couple of bits from Aldi I think we might might walk it actually to Aldi it's only about a couple of miles away um, I prefer to walk than use the car all the time to give the car a rest. Eric's here, the missus is up, she's getting up, you might be able to hear the water pump going, she's having a shower and stuff, so she's getting ready, she's feeling a lot better, because uh, of course the sun makes everything feel a lot better. Um, yeah, so let's just give you a quick tour. There's the view over Ironville. Ironville. 
there's us. This is basically the campsite. So it goes around there in a loop. Toilets are in the middle. And then there's the loop coming back up. And then that's the way in over to the right up there. And then they've got um, pods, things, other things where you can rent out up there. I think it's about two or three storey pod type things. Lovely and quiet. There's a solar panel up there. We're all connected. There's all the bits and bobs connected in there. That's what it's nice every now and then to have a fully serviced pitch. <clears throat> There's the yeah, toilet block. We don't use the toilet block, so we'll put the going in there. Here's Eric. I'm going to look at the wildlife, aren't you, matey? Hey? Seeing some ticky birds. Hey? squirrel or something. Those trees, his eyesight's incredibly sensitive. So yeah, hopefully we'll be get, getting out and about shortly. What's going on in here? Hey, where's all the, where's all the action happening? <laughs> oh. I don't know about action. <laughs> Here's a Hello. wave, love. Yeah, yeah, how are you feeling? I'm a bit better today, thank you. Just feeling a bit better. Yeah, I am, thank goodness. Yeah, hopefully we'll get out. For yeah. too long. Look at that. So yeah, quite happy with that view. Yeah, it's looking peaceful here, isn't it? Mmm, gorgeous. Nice hearing the tweety birds. Yeah, I think I'll stick the kettle on. Arnville, for men who don't have to try too hard. Hey up, so just having a lovely walk here. It's now Saturday, Saturday morning. Oh no, Saturday, all oh, Saturday afternoon, five past four. So yeah. A lovely walk. Plan is today. Um, I thought I'll just uh, go for an hour, a couple of hours walk, uh, stop, have a breather, um, have a pint probably, and then a couple of hours back, and then hopefully have a barbecue this afternoon. Sadie's feeling a bit better than yesterday, so we've got some barbie gear in. Nice warm weather. Hopefully it'll be a nice warm afternoon. So we'll probably have one mid afternoon. So about. Uh, three, well, three, four-ish before it starts getting cold. Um, so I'm trying to head over towards down to the left, Pinkton. Um, it's the second time I've been along this footpath. I keep getting to this dead end, ear. Um, and there's the railway that goes ahead. Perhaps we'll try going up here. Yeah, bit of a dead end. We're gonna have a go at going up there. There's the dead end. Eric's thinking. I mean, we came from over here about half an hour ago, we've gone around in a big loop. And we went that way. So now we're going to go that way, near the Pinkton. Um, yes, yeah, lovely around here, as you can see. Lovely walking. Uh, not particularly planned, like all my walks. Not planned, I just sort of like walked a bit and then picked up a footpath that seemed to be heading over in the direction of some village or villages. He's doing an acoustic version. Um, Eric's here. Kind of squirrel, squirrel treats. Anybody will get in there. Don't worry, he's had his tea. And yes, I've got my treats. So we're just going to be here for a little bit. Obviously, it's a little bit noisy for the hounds. So, um, but yeah, buzzing. This is 
It's Sunday now, about oh ten to three. Just been for a lovely, lovely walk to Brinsley, the Durham Ox. Um, not a great little pub, but it's all right for a pint. But the walk's been absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely today. As you can see, the weather's been pretty damn decent. There's a slight tinge in the air, though. That's why I've got my coat on a little bit, a little bit fresh. Yeah, lovely in here. Nice and contemporary. Lovely jubbler, Mr. Bobbly. And I'm probably about half half an hour away from uh, the campsite as well. So we're on the final leg of today's little walk. Um, so now I think it's getting on to, what, four? Half past four. It should be now, but four or five hours. So yeah, um, just on the last little lane on the way up to the campsite. This is called, it's called Nottingham Lane. Um, I know I'm getting, to, getting to know it quite well actually. A little footpath going off there and there. A little lane goes up here. And there's woods ahead, we cut through those. And then the campsite's just literally on the other side as well. So. Anyway, as I say, literally the other side of that mound is the campsite, although the only way to get there is by walking, carry on walking straight ahead. What's for tea, chicken? It smells nice. Balls. Oh, that sauce is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah, I enjoyed that last time. Vegan balls. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I'm just doing vegan balls, chopped up some shrooms, some onion. Actually, you chopped the onion up, didn't you? Yeah. But the viewers can see without moving the camera. Oh, yeah, without pouring it all over the tea. There we go. Isn't it? That is. <laughs> certainly is. Certainly is. We love it, don't we? It's gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Okay, so it's Sunday evening. This will be our last meal in Riddings Wood Holiday Park. And how does that feel for you, love? Um, well, I'm not desperate to go home, but I am ready for home. Even though I've, I felt really at ease, it's just that I've been, you know, I've been poorly, so I've not been, not felt like going anywhere, have I? No, that's right. But yeah. it's still been a nice break, though. So you've been sat in the caravan all the time, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, pretty much all, all the, the time, time, haven't you? You've had a nice time though, you and Eric. I must admit, yeah, I have enjoyed um, yeah. looking around or getting to know the area, this area especially. Um, so yeah, I've enjoyed myself. So went for a nice seven mile walk with a hound. Oh, cheers everybody. Oh, cheers, oh, oh, cheers. It's fast off, look, he's absolutely shattered. He is. Um, yeah, so we had a nice walk today, yeah. which was nice. Um, yeah, just keep thinking about you really. I mean, since we got here, you've been sat in a caravan. Hello, but and Keswick. Yeah. I need to go back to Keswick again, definitely. Because it did look nice. The main thing is we want your cold or virus, whatever it is, to get be better before you yeah. get to work, don't we? Respiratory or protract infection, I think it oh. is. It's <laughs> like what I keep getting. Keep yeah. getting them. So you must be a bit fed up of being in the caravan, I suppose. Well, do you know, I did at one stage get cabin fever. I was a bit fed up and wanted to go home. Mm. But no, it's just, I just love the space in there. I just love it. Just, it's like home from home, isn't it? I suppose, you know, you, yeah. It's quite if nice. I was in a hotel and in someone else's bed, do you know what I mean? Not in my own space, it'd be a bit different. Has, has it been better being poorly in the caravan away <laughs> or 
do you think we would well, be better yeah, off at home? I think it has really because you've you've done all of the cooking. I mean, you've been looking after me and Derek. Yeah. Whereas at home, the house would uh, be in a mess, wouldn't it? Whereas in here, we both like can clean up after ourselves because it's small. There's not a lot yeah. to do. But at home, with you let loose, the house would be a state, a nightmare. And I suppose that I just stresses me. At home, I tend to wash up when I need to, which might be once a day or something. Yeah. Whereas here, I like to. It's important to keep it That's clean, so I keep washing yeah. up as I go along. So, so yeah, yeah no, it right. seemed quite nice, even though it was a struggle yeah. to get myself sorted to come away. I'm glad I did. Keswick. Did you go out at all in Keswick? I went for a bit of a walk, didn't I? And it set me back a bit. Oh yeah, that was day. it. Yeah. It was a bit of a shame actually because yeah. um, Keswick was lovely, especially for yeah. vegans. Lovely vegans. I was looking yeah, forward I went to having some nice meals. Booths there to see the market. <laughs> yeah. And it did look really good. Yeah, but no, I didn't go out. <sighs> Just letting the steam out. As usual, make a concerted effort to spend my last evening down one of the local pubs. Yeah. Forever so chatty. Eric may or may not come. He's a bit tired after today's seven miler mm. and last night's extravaganza. He stayed well, he down. Was poorly, wasn't he? Yeah. As well, he'd probably stay with me. Yeah, probably. Looking at him. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you wouldn't mind subscribing because apparently most of the people who watch these videos haven't subscribed. Subscribing's free um, and you'll get an inobtrusive notification whenever we upload, so it's a bargain. Thank you. Uh, yes. So, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you shortly. Yeah.